just pushed me out the window? Yes! It makes perfect sense. But it's also confusing. I mean, if it wasn't Natalie, then who was it? I mean, and who's going to put on a, a wig and push you out the window? Somebody who wanted to make it look like Natalie. Oh, I know who did it. Oh, and I'm absolutely right this time. You're not going to like this. Why? Who was it? Your niece, Jennifer Rappaport. Jen, thank God you got your cell phone on. Dad, is everything okay? I'm afraid not, honey. Your mother has just escaped from prison. Did you hear something? She's not crazy. You're still defending her. Come along, miss. Christian. Christian, help me, please. Well, Christian, it's time you made your choice. Is it going to be me or Natalie? I can't let her face this alone. an alibi. Mom broke out of prison. what you're saying here. My niece pushed me out the window. Jen tried to kill me. I know it's hard to believe. Hard to believe. It's ridiculous. No, it's it's not. You said yourself it has to be somebody who hates Natalie and wants her out of the way. And that's Jen? Uh -huh. No way. Oh, no. Jen despises Natalie. She's very, very jealous of Natalie's friendship with Christian. She went so far as to accuse Natalie of knocking her over in our garden shed. Did Natalie do it? No. She absolutely denies it. So wait a minute. What you're saying is in order to keep Natalie away from Christian, Jen put on a red wig and pushed me out the window. It sounds far-fetched. That was weird. Somebody in the hall. Maybe, maybe it was just our imagination. Yeah, 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 you're right. You know, we're, we're on edge and everything because of everything. I think I should probably go. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Hello? Oh, they are. Great. Tell them I'll be right over. Thanks. Bye. Antonio and the commissioner are on their way to the, uh, to the uh, police station. That was the LPD. So I think we should probably head over there with a wig, huh? I still can't believe that my mother would do something like this. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty freaky. Pushing her own husband out the window. Yeah, and then trying to pin it on me. But Christian, look, if we don't believe this, how are we going to convince Bo and, and your brother to believe it? Well, we'll make him b believe it. It doesn't make sense. I mean, why would Vicky do this? 
She'd have to be out of her mind. Well, wait a minute. That's it. She had DID. She probably has it again. And another personality is... did this. But I, I don't get it. I mean, I thought all the personalities were integrated or whatever. Well, yeah, I, th I think they're supposed to, but, um... Maybe one of them got out. One more jog in the noggin. He's gonna remember everything. This is, like, so swell. Great. Who the hell knows where those cops are? I gotta get out of here. You know, I mean, Natalie, whatever. I'll probably never get to know her, but Christian? You know him. Yeah, really well. He wouldn't be acting like this for no reason. You know, I just don't understand why he's going so out of his way to protect Natalie. I saw her standing in the window, Seth. I believe you. Rex said he saw her, too. Yeah, then why is Christian acting like we're the liars and Natalie's the one telling the truth? Do you really think that something like that could happen? I mean, someone who integrated all the personalities would just fall to pieces all over again. Beats me. But we know what your mom did, Natalie. We'll just leave the rest of it to people that know more about this kind of stuff than we do. All we have to do is get this to the commissioner. I just wish I could zone out for a little while, not think about anything. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Ready. All right, so, um, let's go. Right. Sorry. I should wait. Something I have to say. Oh! Now, what a surprise. <laughs> were you, uh, were you going somewhere, Mrs. Davidson? No! Oh, no, 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 I thought I heard a noise. And, and of course I did, it was you. So what brings you here? Uh, I just came by to, um, see Jess. Oh, if she's not here, she's out with Seth. It's kind of late, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, I know, but, um, I, I just, uh, well, I, I know that, uh, she might need a friend right now with everything that's going on with Dr. Davidson. Mm -hmm. how, how is he? But... Oh, he's doing a lot better. Thank you very much. Well, good night. Um, I heard that uh, Natalie moved out. Yes. Uh, best best that way, really. It's much quieter now. That's the way we like it. Yeah, probably a good idea, you know. Yeah. I mean, with what she tried to do to Dr. Davidson. Disturbed young woman. Yeah, she is, isn't she? Lord knows what I'm going to hear that she's done next. Get a look. Speaking of Jen, I should get home to her. All right. Uh, well, there's no need to do that. She's, uh, she's not home. She's at the movies. Actually, no, she is. We're having a little family emergency. Her mother just escaped from prison. And she knows about it? Yeah, I just talked to her. I told her to go home in case her mother calls. Uh, I... I good seeing you. I, I have to, uh, go now. I just, I wanted to say um, that 
am so grateful for everything you've done. I've never had such an amazing friend before. Well, you ought to have a lot of friends, Natalie. You're a pretty terrific person. Yeah, I'm pretty terrific at um, taking up all your time. But uh, any anyway, once we get the wig to bow, then, you know, it'll all be over, finally. And then? And then, uh, I won't have to worry about going crazy or going to jail. <laughs> and you, you can get on with your life and fix things with Jen. make sure that, you know, you felt like we were doing the right thing. About what? About calling the police now. Look, Natalie, for weeks now you've been everybody's favorite suspect. It's about time you got your name cleared. Yeah, but shouldn't we go to Landfair first and, and, and warn Ben that it was Vicky's altar that pushed him through the window? I mean, anything, anything happened to him. Nothing is going to happen to him. Look, they got cops all over the place looking for Allison, which means your mom can't make a move. We'll go to the commissioner. He'll know what to do next. And that way, your mom can get the help that she needs. Yeah, that makes sense. So? So what? So, what did you want to talk to me about? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Um, it's about what you said earlier. About us being friends? Right. I mean, what about it? I, I hope we are still friends. I hope I didn't do anything to mess mess things up. No, no, no. You know, it's it's nothing like that. It's just that. Well, you said that this is all going to be over soon, and and I'm gonna, I'm going to go back to my own life. Yeah, no, and I meant that. Chris, look, I don't want it to be awkward between us. You know. No, no. Because I, of what happened. No, I don't want that either. That's why I, I have to say this. Look, Natalie. Oh my gosh. What is that? What? It's it's glowing. It smells like smoke. That's Jen's dad's house. It's on fire. Like it's just in the back right now. Yeah, Jan's room. What if she's in there? We got into a little fight earlier. What if she went to her dad's? I'm gonna pull up as close as I can and I'm going in. No, Chris, that's too dangerous. L let me just call the fire department. No, we can't wait that long. If Jen's in there, they're not gonna make it in time. 